Unlike many others, he doesn't need football for his bread and butter. He's kept himself busy. His television work includes the compelling hunting series Jack's Game on Channel 4. But now, does he look back at that semi-final defeat at Highbury and wonder what might have been? Well, it was a strange, strange thing like that last year. I mean, we got the semi-final of the Cup and uh, on, a, on a bouncy, windy day when the game could have gone either way, we lost it and we didn't get the Cup final. We had a little bad spell during the season. I could have finished up getting promotion and getting to the Cup final, probably finished up manager of the year last year. It was, as, it was as close as that and as silly. Jack, do you regret you didn't accomplish what you set out to do at Wednesday? Yeah, I would love to have got him into the, the, second, into the first division. Um, we should have gone up last year. You know, but we had a disastrous spell from around about December and January w when the bad weather hit us. I probably didn't prepare the team well enough or spend the money early enough to sort of strengthen us in the areas I knew we would struggle on when we got into the heavy grounds. And so you feel it was your fault, do you, Jack? In a way, in a way, yeah. You know, I mean, I was, I was more concerned with the finances of the club than I was in getting them out of the, the division. But I think Howard's done, it, done exactly the, way, the job the way it should have been done when I left. You know, Howard is deserves a great deal of credit, Howard Wilkinson, because he's bought well, he's, uh, he's, he's strengthened when it was necessary to strengthen, he's not let it sort of tail off, he's kept the pressure on, and the lads have responded terrific. What do you feel about this game on Sunday? Oh, I fancy Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, I've seen both teams play this year, and I think Sheffield Wednesday will be a very, very difficult side to beat at home. They're very enthusiastic, they go forward, they've got players in positions that will cause Laurie's team a lot of problems. And I can't, the only one I can see causing uh, Sheffield any problems is maybe the little bit of pace they've got up front in Moran and the runs of David Armstrong. Uh, but other than that, the rest of the team, I think uh, Sheffield have just got the edge. And I would say the most Southampton could look for, really, in my opinion, is a draw. And they might get a draw and they might get through the replay, but I can't see them beating Sheffield Wednesday at, at uh, Hillsborough. What are you going to be doing on Sunday afternoon? I'm going to be watching a match. I'm going to be watching a match. I'm going to be watching Laurie's face, <laughs> and and uh, you know he. I feel a bit mixed feelings actually because shouldn't say things because Laurie will be sat there saying I'm glad that bugger's saying that we're going you know he'll be delighted at that you know because I've known Laurie Donkey's years and we're good friends, but uh, basically the game will be about uh, what happens on the day, and I think Sheffield can probably make a little bit more happen on the day, at home than than Southampton have faced this year. Oh, we've got one of our friends over. 